Hello YouTube this is your host Durgesh and today we are going to discuss conversion of a decimal number into IEEE 754 floating point format let's get started with floating point numbers generally used to store the values more precisely for example 9.7 as a value of interest in a banking application floating point numbers use scientific notation with a base and exponent for example 9800 can be represented as 9.8 into 10 raised to 2 where 9.8 is the base and 10 raised to 2 is exponent floating point representation is preferred over fixed point representation because floating point supports very large or very small numbers and gives more precision when division of large numbers takes place IEEE 754 floating point format it is IEEE standard for floating point arithmetic established in 1985 by the institute of electrical and electronics engineers IEEE initially there was so much divergence in representations of floating point numbers that's why IEEE 754 floating point representation got introduced and later adopted universally main purpose of this format is to represent real numbers for example 9.8 where whole number is 9 and fraction is 0.8 IEEE 754 floating point number it comprises of three components namely sin s exponent e and mantissa m Mantissa is even called as significant. There are two precisions supported by it: 32 bits, which is often called as single precision, and 64 bits, which is referred as double precision. We are going to see single precision IEEE 754 floating point numbers conversion. Sign S is one bit and used to denote the sign of the number, where zero is used to represent positive number and one for negative number. Exponent e is 8 bits long. The exponent field needs to represent both positive and negative exponents. To do this, a bias is added to the actual exponent in order to get the stored exponent. In single precision, this bias is 127. Mantis or significant m is 23 bits long, which is further divided into fraction, which takes 23 bits. and an implicit leading digit which is hidden and not stored the complete number looks like shown in figure in order to maximize the quantity of representable numbers floating point numbers are typically stored in normalized form let's see what are normalized and non normalized numbers normalized numbers The number in which there exists a non-zero digit before the decimal point is called a normalized number. For example, 9.8, in which we have number 9 before decimal point, which is a non-zero number. Any non-zero real number can be normalized. Non-normalized numbers. The number in which there exists a zero digit before the decimal point is called a non-normalized number. For example, 0.98. in which we have number 0 before the decimal point this number can be normalized as 9.8 into 10 raised to minus 1 let's see the process of conversion of a decimal number into an equivalent ieee 754 floating point format first convert the decimal number into binary as a whole number and the fraction then check the sign of the decimal number then normalize the converted binary number calculate the mantissa or significant calculate the exponent and finally write sign exponent and mantissa collectively now let's take an example for conversion for example 9.875 first step is to convert it into binary here we divide it into two parts whole number and fraction where 9 is whole number and 0.875 is fraction 9 in binary is 1001 how to calculate binary of 0.875 we need to multiply the fraction by 2 until we get fraction 0 in the answer 
मल्टीप्लाई जीरो पॉइंट एट सेवन फाइव बाय टू एंड वी गेट वन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव जीरो और फ्रैक्शन इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव जीरो सो अगेन वी नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई इट बाय टू एंड वी गेट वन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो जीरो और फ्रैक्शन इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो जीरो सो अगेन वी नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई इट बाय टू एंड वी गेट वन पॉइंट जीरो 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 और फ्रैक्शन इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो 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 विच इज वेयर वी नीड टू स्टॉप नाउ write down the whole number from each of the above multiplications as shown here so it is 1 1 and 1 thus 0.875 in binary is 1 1 1 And nine point eight seven five in binary can be written as one zero zero one dot one one one. Next step is to check the sign of number. Here, number nine point eight seven five is positive. Therefore, sign bit s is equal to zero. Next step is to normalize the number by shifting the bits. This is the original number. Notice the decimal point is shifted to the left as shown here. After shifting the number two places, after shifting the number three places, then calculate the mantissa or significant. Thus, mantissa m is equal to fraction of one point zero zero one 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 one, which is equal to zero zero one 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 one. We need to pad zeros to make it twenty three bits long. Therefore, mantissa m is equal to zero zero one one. One one zero 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 and zero zero zero. Finally, calculate the exponent. Exponent e is equal to number of bits shifted in normalization plus bias. Therefore, e is equal to three plus one twenty seven, which is equal to one thirty, which in binary is one zero 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 one zero. Now, write down sign. Exponent and mantissa collectively, as shown. And final answer is decimal nine point eight seven five in I triple seven five four format is equal to zero one zero 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 one zero 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 one 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 zero 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 and zero zero zero. I hope you would have enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. See you next time until then take care goodbye and thank you